Racial Justice Network are calling for change at a Florence School District 1 high school after an alleged sexual assault, but advocates say problems have been going on in that district for years. Our Julia Justice Network held today, and Julia, this story really has a lot of moving parts, so break it down for us tonight. Well, Eric, within the last hour, I was just told by a representative from Florence, Florence District 1 that they do not have any comment currently about today's press conference. But activists from Racial Justice Network claim that there are several problems within the district and they want authorities to investigate. Parents at West Florence High School claim it took 12 days for school officials to notify them about an alleged rape in the school's bathroom. The manner in which this incident was handled was unsafe, careless, and unprofessional. There is no way any parent or student should have to ever endure such treatment. But activists from the Racial Justice Network say that is only the tip of the iceberg. They say this is not the first time an alleged sexual assault in the district has been handled poorly. They also say students' accommodations have been swept under the rug and that policies disproportionately impact black students even though they make up a majority of the school district. Activists also claim Superintendent Richard O'Malley has changed policies to give himself more power, allegedly removing power from the school board. The appeals process is supposed to be made to the board, but Dr. O'Malley has subjugated that process to where the appeal goes directly to him. And then when you appeal him, it goes back to him. In addition to being the regional director for the Racial Justice Network, Shelley Williams is also a Florence District 1 parent. She says law enforcement removed her alongside a student and another activist from school property, even though they had an appointment set up. We're confused. That's why we're asking questions. I'm not sure, but I just know I was told y'all were not supposed to be on the premises. She says this violates the South Carolina Parental Bill of Rights. Uh, we know that with safety concerns today that the police are allowed to be on the school campus, but they're supposed to be there for safety, not doing administrative work like dealing with parents. Florence Councilwoman LaShonda Neesmith Jackson was also at today's press conference. She's also a Florence District 1 parent and says these issues concern her twofold. You always want to make sure that your child is safe and everything is going right, that they can be the best students that they can be. So it's, it's alarming to hear, but I think we as a community, we're resilient, and I think that we're going to come together and get all of this fixed. And activists also say they want a full forensic audit of the district's special ed department done. They also say that they will be meeting with the Florence County Sheriff's Department tomorrow, and they're trying to set up a meeting with State Superintendent Ellen Weaver. Live in Florence, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.